Hello everyone, welcome to the sessions on Salesforce where we will be discussing and understand everything that you need to know about Visual Force in Salesforce. But before we get started, if you like our video, please do not forget to subscribe to the Edureka YouTube channel and hit the bell icon to never miss out on any updates. Also, if you guys are interested in our certification training, do check out the link given in the description below. So without any further delay, let's get on with today's agenda. Let us first understand the basic definition of what exactly is Visual Force in Salesforce, then learn the types of Visual Force page. Where can these Virtual Force pages be used? Further, we will understand the architecture of Visual Force and where should you use them and what are the benefits of Visual Force. Let us not waste any time and get on with the topic of today. That is, what is Visual Force in Salesforce? So, Visual Force is a framework that allows developers to build sophisticated, customer user interface that can be hosted natively on the Lightning platform. Now, when we talk about the Visual Force framework, it includes tag-based markup languages, similar to HTML like CSS, JavaScript, etc., and a set of server-side standard controllers that make basic database operations such as queries and saves very simple to perform. In the Visual Force markup language, each Visual Force tag corresponds to a coarse or a fine-grained user interface components such as a section of page, a related list, or a field. For those who don't know what is the difference between a coarse grain API and a fine grain API, so in a coarse grain API, your data is typically housed in a few large components, whereas in a fine grain API, it is spread across a large number of smaller components. The behavior of Visual Force components can either be controlled by the same logic that is used in standard Salesforce pages, or developers can associate their own logic with a control class written in Apex. Now that we have talked about tags, let us consider the sample of Visual Force corresponds and their corresponding tags. Now, these are some of the examples of tags when we talk about the Visual Force. As you can see here, the dashboard, and you have the Apex page, the Apex data table, then you have the page block where you can modify and change your templates. Next, we will move on to understand what a Visual Force page is. Developers can use Visual Force to create Visual Force page definition. Now, a page definition consists of two primary elements. It can be number one, your Visual Force markup and a Visual Force controller. Now, when we talk about a Visual Force markup, it consists of a Visual Force tags like HTML, JavaScript, or any other web enabled code embedded with a single tag. So, in this case, we we'll have, if we make changes, we can use the syntax Apex dot page where which have seen in the last slide as you can see here apex page the markup defines the user interface component that should be included on the page and the way they should be appeared now when we talk about a visual force controller it is a set of instruction that specify what happens when a user interact with the component specified in associated visual force markup such as when a user clicks a button or a link now controller also provide access to the data that should be displayed in the page and can modify components behavior. Now, a developer can either use a standard controller provided by the Lightning platform or add custom control logic with a class written in Apex. Now that we have discussed Visual Force page and the two elements, let us now see where can a Visual Force page be used. Developers can use Visual Force pages to number one, that is to override your standard buttons, such as the new button for the account or the edit button for your contact. Second is you can override tab overview pages, such as the account tab home page. Now, the third point is you can define custom tabs. Number four is it can be used in embedded components in detailed page layouts. Point number five is it can create dashboard components or custom help pages. And then it can customize, extend, or integrate the sidebars in the Salesforce console. That is your custom console components. And the last point is it at navigation menu items and actions in the Salesforce mobile app. Now let us understand how a Visual Force is architect or understand the working principle of a Visual Force. Now all Visual Force pages run entirely on the Lightning platform. Now both when a developer creates the page and when the end user requests the page, which is as shown in the following architecture diagram. What happened is when a developer finished writing a Visual Force page and save it to the platform, now, the platform application server attempts to compile the markup into an abstract set of instructions that can be understood by the Visual Force renderer. If the compilation generates error, now the save is aborted and the error are returned to the developer. 
Otherwise, instructions are saved to the metadata repository and sent to the Visual Force renderer. Now, the renderer turns the instruction into HTML and then refreshes the developer views. Now, thereby providing instantaneous feedback to the developers for whatever changes were made in the markup. So, what happens when a non developer user requests a Visual Force page? Since the page is already compiled into instruction, so when a non developer user requests a Visual Force page, the application server simply retrieves the page from the metadata repository and send it to the Visual Force renderer for conversion into HTML. Now that we have understood the functionality or the architecture of Visual Force, let us see when should you use Visual Force. Now we know that the Salesforce have a pre built application which provide a powerful CRM functionality. Now in addition to that, Salesforce provide the ability to customize the pre built application to fit your organization. Now, however, if your organization has complex business processes that are unsupported by the existing functionality, in this case, Lightning platforms provide various ways for advanced administrators and developers to build custom functionalities. Now, to customize the front end user interface and functionality of your ORG, Visual Force and Lightning Web Components are used. However, Salesforce highly recommend using Lightning Web Components over Visual Force for the most modern performance and responsive functionality. Let us understand the difference between a Visual Force and a Lightning Web Components. Now, Visual Force consists of a tag based markup language that give developers a more powerful way of building application and customizing the Salesforce user interface. With Visual Force, you can build wizard and other multi-step processes, create your own custom flow control through an application, then define navigation pattern and data specific rules for optimal efficient and application interaction. Now talking about Lightning Web Components, a Lightning Web Components are custom HTML elements built using HTML and modern JavaScript. Now they use core web component standards and provide only what's necessary to perform well in browsers supported by Salesforce. Now Lightning Web Components are lightweight and deliver exceptional performance because they are built on code that run natively in browsers. Now let's check some of the benefits of Visual Force. Now as you all know, a Visual Force is a markup language. It provides the following benefits. If we talk about the benefit number one, it is its user friendly development. Now developers can edit the Visual Force markup in the same window that display the resulting page. Now consequently, developers can instantly verify the result of an edit just by saving their code. The Visual Force editor pane also include auto completion and syntax highlighting which helps the developer from any hassle of syntax error. Visual Force also support quick fixes that allows developers to create supporting components on the go. Say for example, a developer can define a new Visual Force page simply by logging into the Salesforce and then entering the name of the new page in a URL. Much like a wiki, if the page does not yet exist, the platforms created for you. Now, when we talk about the second benefit is its integration with other web-based user interface technologies. Visual Force markup is ultimately rendered into HTML. Now, designer can use Visual Force tags alongside standard HTML, then JavaScript, Flash, or any other code that executes within an HTML page on the platform. Now, it includes the Lightning platform merge fields and the expression. Now, when we talk about the third benefit is its model view controller style development, or simply MVC. Visual Force confirms the model view controller's development pattern by providing a clear division between the view of an application and the controller that determines how the application works. Now, it can be the business logic. Now, they are defined by a Visual Force controller in Apex. Designers and developers can easily split up the work that goes with building a new application. Now, designers can focus on the look and feel of the user interface, while developers can work on the business logics that drive the application. Now, when we talk about the fourth benefit is its concise syntax. Now, Visual Force pages can implement the same functionality as S-Control, but with approximately 90% fewer lines of codes. Now, the fifth benefit is its data-driven defaults. Now, in a Salesforce, visual components are rendered intelligently by the platform. For example, rather than forcing pages designers to use different component tags for different types of editable fields such as your email address or calendar tables, a designer can simply use a generic tags for all fields. Now, when we talk about the sixth benefit is its hosted platform. Now, Visual Force pages are compiled and rendered entirely by the Lightning platform. Now, because they are tightly integrated, they display the same performance as standard Salesforce pages, regardless of the amount of data being displayed or edited. Last but not least, we have is your automatically upgradable. 
Visual Force do not need to be rewritten with other parts of the Lightning platforms, which are upgraded. Now, because the pages are stored as metadata, they are automatically upgraded with the rest of the system. So, these are some of the benefits of Visual Force in Salesforce. To help you grasp the concept better, let's do a small demo on Visual Force pages. Now, we have multiple ways to create a Visual Force pages. So, the first one is you can search for your Visual Force pages and select it. Then click on new. After that, give it a name on the label for your Visual Force page. And after that, you can see there's a code where you can edit. After you made some changes, you can click on save. Now, if you want to preview the changes you have made with code, you can simply click on preview. Here you can see the congratulation. This is your new page. As you can see, it is quite similar to an HTML like your H1 tags. So, this is the first way of creating a Visual Force page. Now, let's check the second way of creating a Visual Force page. So, in the dashboard, go on to search and after dot com, put in slash apex slash and put it in the name of the page 2. Now, it's showing page 2 does not exist. If you want to edit this page, again, you have to go back to the source code. Click on the edit and then click on save. Later, if you want to preview the code where you have made the changes. But what if I told you guys you can avoid this by simply editing the code and save it. Now, when we go back to this tab, page 2 does not exist. We can enable the link to create a page. Now for that, go to your profile. Click on my settings. Then go on left hand side of the dashboard. Get to advanced user details. Select on edit. Scroll down and enable development mode. And save it. So now go back to your tab 2. As you can notice here, until now there is no option here. I'll just refresh this page and you can see here down below. There is a page where you can edit the code here itself. Now let me refresh the tab one more time. As you can see, there is a link where we can click on that. It will take you to the page where it makes some changes. Here you can edit the code and use your HTML tags. Let us check some few tags. Now H1 as you all know, it's used for heading. We'll close that by slash h1. Second one is i, which indicates this is italic. And the last one we'll use is b, which indicates this is bold. Now, as you can see, it is not case sensitive because I can use the uppercase or the lowercase. So save these changes above and you can see the output. Now, if you use BR tag, it simply breaks and print in, in the new line. Click on save. And as you can see, it is separated. This is heading, this is italic, and this is bold. Separately in the new line. So like this, you can develop the coding in your Visual Force page. So with this, we have come to the end of this video. So that was all about Visual Force. Thank you guys for attending this session. I hope this could give you a better understanding of what Visual Force is where exactly Visual Force pages can be used and what are the benefits of a Visual Force. If you like this video, please press the like icon and subscribe to our channel for more such content. See you on the next video. Until then, happy learning. I hope you have enjoyed listening to this video. Please be kind enough to like it and you can comment any of your doubts and queries and we will reply them at the earliest. Do look out for more videos in our playlist and subscribe to Edureka channel to learn more. Happy learning!